everything husky. Good morning, it's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns to moonlight, life goes on. Oh, 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 oh. Never hold on the hate, cause you was placed here to be great. Please take your place, all queens got a seat at my table. Cause without y'all, then the man ain't able. Melanated queen, connected to the universe. And so I gotta thank my mom for my birth. If hate is the curse, then love is the remedy. So I send you love no matter creed or identity. Until infinity, look at you like you kin to me. Even when we disagree, yo, you still kin to me. In other words, I can't bring you no trouble, can't bring you no beef, don't wanna see you deceased. Now if I'm coming at you, I'm coming with a business plan. Cause every day I'm on some, yo, let's get this money, man. Yeah, and that's my real plans. I rest my head at night, I wake up, I got another plan. Good morning, it's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns to moonlight like goes up. Tell me why we don't get money together But we'll kill each other over whatever Running down the freeway We gonna own down If black lives matter Why we gonna own down That's why they laugh And they think that we clowns They hear what we say But see how we get down We gotta change that now Right now to be exact Cause hurting that man's moms Is not where we're sat now Old school, new school Need to learn, yo They put us in groups So they can make more dough The young versus the old The old versus the young Black versus white you see the pattern right no unity keep them all on some gutter ish this way they don't prosper and get rich yo can't you see it's a trick just open your third eye and you'll see the full view of it now yo what if the powers that be know that the real power lies within the people that's us and what if they using things like crayon colors black and white to separate the people. Hey, yo, you gotta wake up. Don't let them fool y'all. Spread love. Good morning. It's another day, my friend. But soon the sunshine turns to moonlight. Life goes on, 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 on. It takes some time to say goodnight. You close your eyes to dream. the right way love to see it man love to see it hopefully y'all are doing well it's gonna be a great show ready to get into it all right here we go what's up y'all i think we should be good and we got a bunch of y'all in here welcome y'all welcome back to another youtube live stream and another episode of the music morning show i'm your host classy beats of classybeats.com and today we're going to be reviewing your music we might even do some live mixing and mastering and we got a topic we're gonna go cover today. It's actually a little bit of an update that we're gonna have from the top music attorney over on YouTube. Uh, she recently did a video covering something we addressed in a few videos ago with what's going on with TuneCore, one of the uh, larger DSPs out there. And uh, it's some interesting news that she has coming from them with this whole uh, claim that she's filing and there's a, gonna be a possible lawsuit as well. So. Y'all make sure you stay tuned in throughout the show for that. Of course, we're going to be reviewing music as always. So if you guys want to get your music heard, super easy to do. All you have to do is if you're watching on BandLab, you can drop the link to your chat or you drop the link to your song right there in the live chat. If you're watching on any other platform, 
the link to submit is in the description all right let me see who all is in here let me say what's up to y'all we've got exodia is in the building he said just want to say this also happened to me but it was lander Ooh. all right my camera is not centered either this is gonna bother me hold on let me fix this let's see there we go i think we're good jakey g's in the building Shout out to Jakey G, DJ Snoofu. This beat is fire. It must be DJ Snoofu is up in here. He said, morning, Classy, and the rest of you all. Good to see you, man. Uh, who else? We've got a new timer in the building. It is MT's Hip Hop Blog and more. Okay. Shout out to MT's Hip Hop Blog and more. Thank you for stopping by. And Jakey G says, no specific amount for a music morning show, right? Um, I'm not sure what you mean, Jakey G. I'm not sure what you mean there. You'll have to clarify a little bit. Also, over on Band Lab, we've got Buddha is in the building. He said the stream keeps cutting out. Yeah, it should it should get smoother here in a minute. Lola Z is in the building. Breaker says uh, it's bad right now. I can't even watch one second of it. Um, I keep pressing play. Hmm. Lola Z says cheers and blessings from Canada. Okay, give me one second, Band Lab gang. I'm gonna get y'all right. Um, let me see if I could fix this for a band lab real quick. Also, we got Big D Rice watching over on YouTube too. What's up, man? I'm gonna get y'all right, band lab. Hold on a second. Just bear with me. Um, there we go. Uh, loyalty's in the building too. What's up, loyalty? Okay, band lab, y'all should be good here in a few minutes. You're gonna probably have to give it five minutes or so, and then y'all should be okay. So I'm just gonna reset the connection and we should be good. All right, let's go ahead and get into it again. Like I said, if y'all want to get your music heard, you just submit over on band lab in the live chat. And if you're watching on any other platform, you can submit using the link in the description, all right? Oh man, D Light's watching over on X. Shout out to the Twitter gang out there. I think we're just gonna call it X. All right, um, Exodia, what does Exodia say? Shout out to Exodia, came through last night and was the major sponsor of the Song of the Night Live last night. Uh, Exodia says, bear with you, better call animal control. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was, that was good. I gotta give you a round of applause for that. Speaking of last night, by the way, in case y'all missed it in case y'all missed it we had a lot going on in the last 24 hours so in case y'all missed it last night we did have an episode of the song of the night live if you didn't know every monday wednesday and friday night we give away some cash and we have a live music review show at 8 p.m eastern standard time and last night we had another live music review show and we kicked off the show with a versus challenge featuring the black butterfly and Jakob die and the winner of that versus challenge was the back blood the black butterfly excuse me and so she got that final spot in the song of the night live season 7 tournament which is going to be on wednesday so again you guys do not want to miss out on this tournament we have coming up on wednesday it's going to be a good time it's going to we're going to hear a lot of dope music and you will still have an opportunity to win some cash and door prizes too. So y'all don't want to miss out. Make sure you tune in on Wednesday. And of course, we'll have another episode for you this Friday too. Here's everybody who's in the tournament. King Creole, T-Coop, Stovey, Javier LaFleur, Nick Flanagan, Disney Days, Jayton, Lanisha Houston, Mandy X, Miss Gabs, LA Wood, and of course, most recently last night, the Black Butterfly. And then of course, Exodia was the one that sponsored last night's show as well. So big shout out to Exodia. Yeah, I see y'all band lab saying it keeps lagging. It'll it'll steady itself here in a minute. Uh, let me see. Let me get Lola up in here. Let me get loyalty. All right, we're good. We're good. Uh, Andy is in the building too. It says it keeps lagging. And Lola Z said yes, even after restarting my phone, uh, clearing cash and such. Yeah, y'all y'all have to give it a minute. It's just band lab for some reason it takes it a minute to get the connection from my streaming software so just hold on and we'll get y'all right all right 
Uh, we've got Mason Hernandez is up in here too. Beat Breaker says, I'm watching on YouTube, chatting on here. Okay. I do the same thing with the uh, Beat Mage when she goes live. Uh, Anzi says, bro, I even lowered my quality. It's not, yeah, it's not you guys. It's uh, it's a connection between my streaming software and BandLab. So either way, let's go ahead and get into it. Who else do we have in here? I know we had a few other people that joined. We've got JVR is in the building too. Shout out to JVR. Smokey is back up in here. Shout out to Smokey. Super dope artist we got to hear last night. Yeah, you have a great voice, Smokey. I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully, we'll get to hear another one from you. Loyalty is up in here too. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. So what I'm going to do is it looks like we had a couple people who sent in skips. First of all, I have one more announcement I want to get to, and then I'm going to let y'all go. So in case you guys didn't know, we do have another YouTube channel uh, that I started and we're posting videos over there at the band lab engineer YouTube channel. And we actually had our first live stream over there today. Uh, we had our first live stream this morning at 9 a.m. Eastern standard time. We're going to do this every week. And uh, if it starts to do well and pick up, we'll probably do it a couple times a week. But y'all go check it out. If you missed the live stream, you can just type in the BandLab engineer on your YouTube search bar and you'll be able to find it. We also have a good bit of videos over there. We post videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on that channel. A lot of clips from uh, the sessions that we do here on the Music Morning Show. And then we'll have some clips as well from the live streams that we're doing. All right. So y'all go tap in. Let's go ahead and get this first one, which is going to be by, let's see, Jakey G sent his in. So let's go ahead and get Jakey G up in here. The song he sent is called mm, World War Three featuring G4 the boss. Hopefully I said that name right. Either way, let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all let me know what you think. Hey, what's up, Overdose? Started from the bottom, now we rise up. Yeah, you know we high. What? Yeah, we on that high. Yeah, going the wrong way, on the highway. Hey, what more can I say? Life or death, bet I'll choose life. Cause I'm living my fucking life, my best life. 31. Yeah, you know I've been through everything. But I'm married okay, to the better. game, no wedding ring. Let that Nina sing, let that Nina sing, cause. I got you smoking. Yeah, uh, G4 the boss's vocals are terrible. I don't know why they recorded that. The recording is just really bad. The media lies, scrutinized, read between the lines. I'm too fucking high. I'm going viral, I'm going viral. Yeah, my eyes low, cause I'm stoned. You ain't even know, cause you's a fucking hoe. You don't want World War Three, no, you don't, cause. I'm trying to get uh band lab straight. Uh give me one second. There we go. All right, that was Jakey G and G for the boss. Jakey G, this was rough, man. Um <laughs> just 
It makes me laugh. I see all these people in the comments. I'm like, man, stop the cap. Y'all come on. Y'all are not helping by saying this was perfect. This needs a lot of work to make it listenable. It was tough to listen to. Uh, now, your verse was actually pretty good. The timing when you first came in on your verse was a little off. And then when you came on the second time. So we got to get those those starts right. But then as you got into your verse, it sounded a little bit better. Married to the game, no wedding ring. So I can hear your timing starting to get um, it's starting to get a little bit more smooth. Just when the intro, hey, when you rise up. When you first jump into the verse, make sure you get your timing right. And if you need to do it a couple of times, uh, that's going to help you out there, too. Shout out to Jakey G. Uh, Anzi said, <laughs> yeah, Band Lab is, is still over there struggling. Y'all should be good here in a minute. Also, who else do we have in here? Smokey said, I sent a link. Exodia said juggling like five different socials is tough. Yeah, it's not. It is tough. Yes, that is true. But right now it's just that band lab is. For some reason, the connection is just off and it does this every so often. Maybe it's because I'm streaming to a bunch of different places. It's hard to tell, but either way, we'll get it right. But speaking of Exodia, shout out to Exodia over on PayPal. PayPal gang in the building. He dropped another one he wants us to hear today. And it's over on Spotify. The song is called We Set the Trend. Okay, y'all check it out. Let me know what you think. And I have not given Exodia a follow on over on Spotify. So follow you now. Y'all let me know what you think about this one. I gotta turn it up too. Hold on. Everybody, everybody say, hey, hey, hey. everybody, 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 everybody,
Dance Lap has said, I'm doing my best dance hall moves on the roof right now. <laughs> Shout out to Young uh, Snap and Slap with the dance hall moves. That was nice. I think the end was a little drawn out, but yeah, overall, this is a nice, this is a nice track. I enjoyed listening to that one. I thought the drop was going to be a lot different than it was, but it was still fun to listen to, man. Shout out to you. Exodia and he says uh, Matthew is the sole musician of Exodia who was featured on Channel 6 CBS for Best in Central Florida. That's dope, man. Congratulations to you. He says his music is inspired by the Space Coast and his experience in life. You can check him out at Exodia.com. That's I X O D E A.com. Yeah, that's dope, man. Shout out to you. And appreciate you dropping the 20 bomb over there to support. You did not have to do that. It's much, appreci much appreciated. And he said, uh, anyone who wants to send me a rap, he will listen. All right. So if y'all record over any of his music, make sure you send it over. All right. Let me get some of the other members in here, too. Let me see. DJ Snufu was one of the first ones in here. He's got one for us. I think it might be either. It might be a beat, actually. He said, no more tears with the new mix. Okay, cool. Y'all check it out. We got to hear this one the other day, but y'all listen to it. Let me know what you think. This AirPod is acting weird. Yo, this beat is sick. Think you got the flu, dude. What's happening, this snowfall? I like what you did on it. Yeah, this one sounds good. 
It's a lot more balanced. Uh, for me, it was easier to listen to. You had a good mix on that one too. I love the lead. It, it was all, yeah, all very well done, man. Shout out to DJ Snoofu. Y'all go give him a follow. You can also find him on the Community Beats playlist, volume one and volume two over on Van Lab. All right. So shout out to him. Hollywood Co's up in here. I got to give Hollywood Co a shout out. I mentioned to y'all that we did our first live stream today over on the Band Lab Engineer channel. And we actually mixed the song from Hollywood Co. It's called Lifen featuring Drip. And um, man, I had a good time mixing that one. They did a great job recording it. I think it's at a good point now. It sounds really professional. Uh, there maybe could be a few things added to it, but yeah, they did a, a really good job on that one. So shout out to Hollywood Co. and Drip. We're going to hear it later. Yeah, y'all go subscribe to the channel, though. Subscribe to the new channel and hit that notification bell. All right, here we go. Let's get Snap a sent. Snap a drop uh, something over on the cash out. What did he say? He dropped a five bomb. Cash out. Shout out to Snapper Slapper. We got to get him in here. This one is called, is it called Snapper? Mm. I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, <laughs> what does Hollywood Co say? He said, hey, if you play mines, please don't tell Mix. She might cuss me out. Oh, really? What happened, Hollywood Co? Did you submit a different one? Oh, you submitted one with her. Okay, I promise I won't tell, but you know, when I say that, mixed love is gonna pop up. Check this one out. <laughs> Snap a slap in here. Always putting a smile on my face. Let's go. I know there's gonna be a sample in this from the show. Hey, what's up, Scandalous Bones? I see you. I'm so sick of all the fucking Spend on the money before I get it back. Grind me clothes in a dusted hat. I like our bitches, but they usually fat. Or they ugly, what's up with that? Rappers got snitching on these fucking tracks. I look so happy. Yeah, they fucking rats. It's fucking whack. Act like they follow me, and that's money to run it back. Run it back, run it back. Talk my shit too. There's some art to that. My shit's a hidden gem, like an artifact. Make you laugh so hard, give you a heart attack. Sees me, I'll push those arches back. Slap, smack, I've had enough of rap. Ah, get yourself a starter pack. Are you a retarded cat? What the fuck did I just say? I had Which one was it, Snapper? Man, I'm laughing at it because I'm an addict who came out my attic like Anne Frank. Where's the tank? Mm, give me some more dang. I'll smoke it up until I get fucked up. And I didn't have oh, enough. Oh, there she is. What's up, go? Oh, girl, come on for bend over and get wet, wet. Face. 
Snap a slap it, man. This guy. Very creative. I don't think anyone will ever doubt this man is a creative genius over here. I don't know how he makes all this. <laughs> all this into music, but he does a great job. I thought for sure you were going to have a clip of uh, that segment in the uh, in your song, but man, that was still dope. Shout out to Snap a Slap. But who else do we have in here? We've got Goat Montana, the lovely Goat Montana in here. Speaking of goats, Jen the Great is in the building too. Salute to Jen the Great. She said, what's up, fam? Always happy to come in and see your names with great music. Yeah, shout out to Jen. Appreciate you being here, Jen. Jen, are you off today? What's today? Today's Thursday. Is it today? Thursday? Are you off today, Jen? Are you working? Let me know. Hopefully you're getting to enjoy yourself. Loyalty's in the building. Smokey says 42 degrees, 42 degrees Celsius here in the Philippines. And now you made it 100 degrees Celsius. Let's go. It's Thursday. Thank you. I don't know. All right, I see a lot of y'all are just joining the show. So again, if you want to get your music heard, if you're watching on BandLab, y'all can drop your links in the live chat. If you're watching on any other platform, the link to submit is in the description. All right. Now, this is going to be a quicker live stream. So we're not going to be in here too long, probably only until 1230. So I'm going to try and get as many, if not all of y'all in here as I can. So let's go ahead and get into it. Jennifer said, I work tonight, but... I always enjoy myself. Shout out to Jen, man. I love to see that. Oh yeah, Smokey can sing. We're gonna hear one. We're gonna hear one from Smokey in a minute. Let me make sure I got all the members and everybody who skipped. I got Exodia up in here on that one. Who else? Okay, I think we're I think we're good. I think we're good. Perfect. So I need to get let me go ahead and get Smokey in here. So y'all can hear these vocals that he's working with going crazy. And then we're going to get to our topic here probably around maybe 12, 12, 15. I might be able to get all of y'all in here before we get started. And I need to get Hollywood Co. If you are a member on the Classy Beats YouTube channel and I missed you, I want to make sure I get y'all in here. So definitely say what's up in the chat. Here we go. It's called Smitten With You, I believe. This dude has an amazing voice. Y'all go show Smokey some love. He's over there in the Philippines. We are worldwide here on the Music Morning Show. Y'all go support this man. Super, super dope. Y'all can see. That way you can follow him. Hold on. I gotta zoom out. 
There we go. It's at S at S M O K three Y one, two, three, three. All right. And he's over there in the Philippines. Appreciate you tapping in, man. Thank you for sending that one. Uh, you have an amazing voice. I want to hear more, more, more as much as possible from you. And, uh, also I think he's doing collabs. Are you doing to collapse too, Smokey? Let me know. Um, Hollywood Co said, what's up with some singing lessons, homie? For real. Can I get some too? I mean, he was hitting all kinds of notes on this one. Dang. Yeah, the police over there in the Philippines are going to be looking for him. All those notes he was hitting. Um, show me Hollywood Co. Mixed love. Y'all let me know what you think. Oh, not a dying horse. Ah, oh, dang. What's up, D-Light? I see you. Hollywood Co said, I DJ Khaled at this collab. I don't know how. I guess just by hosting the show. Um, a lot of dope collabs have come out of the Music Morning Show and the Song of the Night Live. So, hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, Lucia says, why is the chat so dead today? Well, we still got a good bit of people in here. We got 16,000 people. It's just uh, there's there's not a lot of people on the morning show. It's just because we're earlier. Um, all right. Drip is in the building. Shout out to my dog, Drip. We actually got to hear one from Drip and hollywood co over on the band lab engineer channel this morning so if y'all missed that go tap in go subscribe to the new channel we did the first ever live stream over there this morning at 9 a.m eastern standard time we're going crazy man we're going crazy got a lot of dope content coming out for you guys we also have some videos over on the band lab engineer channel as well so y'all go check it out some good stuff in here let me i want to play this one that we did today from Hollywood Co. and Drip, just so y'all could check it out. All right, let's get into it. Pray every day in life. Yeah, I was at the be. gym at oh, right. uh, yeah. five thirty this Ice morning. Ice cream. Life gonna keep life me, homie. What? 
Pick your head up. Stick your chest out. Y'all let me know that. what you think of this mix. And of course, let me know what you think of the chat, the the song too. Life gon' keep life in money over hoes, nigga. That's just how I go, nigga. Fish that to the cold, nigga. Life gon' keep life in. Just don't never fold. That's and a remember YBC. that you chose, and you'll never trust these hoes. If these hoes be trifling, when I lose, your nigga just stick and move. You get hate from all these dudes, don't let them change your mood. Yeah. And no matter what you do, don't ever lose your screws. Never let them know your mood, just keep them confused. Just keep them guessing, couple years you gon' be flexing. Fuck the crowd, gotta watch the niggas in your section yeah. Be them niggas that's right next to you that's trying to block your blessing Always keep protection, yeah, that Glock of Smith and Wesson I learned my lesson, I seen these niggas try to stop my progression I took the exit, I see these niggas, did you give us confession? I burned some bridges, I went broke and they repossessed my Lexus I got a bad times 10, spent some gems up in my necklace Hey, get money, fuck a friend, who trying to help you win? Through thick and thin, is it real or is it just pretend? Stay away from that pen they tryna lock you in If you lose it, then get it back again Cause life gon' keep life in Money over hoes, nigga, that's just how I go, nigga Fish that to the cold, nigga, life gon' keep life in Just don't never fold And remember that you chose And you'll never trust these hoes Life gon' keep life in Money over hoes, nigga, that's just how I go, nigga Fish that to the cold, nigga, life gon' keep life in Just don't never fold And remember that you chose And you'll never trust these hoes these hoes be trifling Win or lose, young nigga just stick and move You get hate from all these dudes Don't let them change your mood And no matter what you do, don't ever lose your screws Never let them know your mood yes, Just keep them confused Hey, what's up, Vitalo? Alright, here goes the switch up Life gonna keep life, man, homie What? Pick your head up, stick your chest out, homie That I've been down the road, I've been down the road a hundred times I was locked down back in 16 for committing a crime Said in that three years and I got right, I start getting planted Fell at low, the street start trapping and start selling them drinks Feel so strong, nigga, the planet itch, keep on coming You gotta watch you, you fuck with, you can't fuck with anybody Rock for the stay with me, nigga, I don't trust nobody There it is, Hollywood Co. and Drip. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there it is. Y'all check them out. Hopefully, this will be dropping soon. Great work on that one, man. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that was dope. Let's keep it moving. We might need to get into the speed round. I think I got all the members in here. I'm waiting for the day when Jen starts sending some in. <laughs> Italo said, I don't trust my ex-wife. Go. Oh, dang. That's tough, man. Jeez. All right. Let me see. It is 1150. Let's go ahead and go through the speed round real quick. I'm going to try and get as many of y'all in here as I can. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play the first minute to a half of each of these next songs. And I'm going to try and get everyone in here before I got to go. All right, y'all check this one out. This is Mason Hernandez with Leveled Up. Let's go. Hey. We got freedom, freedom. Take it, I'm getting it back. And if I they hit me, they I gotta am. get taxed. I'm making hit after hit after hit, and I promise you, boy, every one of them slap. Hop on a verse and I body it quick. They never work, and it's why we don't mix. I don't got time for the fake, and I swear that I'll always say real something they never did. Oh, oh, they saying that I'm up next. I told them that I'm up now. Music licensing, I they imagine. I'm needing honeys and honeys, cause that's what I'm worth. Show me the finish, I'm getting. Show me the best and it's me and my worst. I need that money, I'm getting it now. I'm at the top, but I started way down. I told them hundreds of times that I'm really done waiting. I swear that I came for the crown. Oh, oh. Okay, I got you. gonna hand it right over. I was in a four, leveled up to the road. 
over. Feeling like Blake, I'ma put him on a poster. I don't really play when it come to my checks. I've been in the gym, so you know I got a flex. I just shoot a shot, then it's gon' be a wet dog. I'm coming for these meals, I ain't taking no less. Yeah, yeah, I ain't really taking no less. Now they tryna send me that text. I ain't hit them back, they stress. I'm needing honeys or honeys, cause that's what I'm worth. Show me the finish, I'm getting it first. Show me the best, and that's me and my Music work. I need that money, I'm getting it now. I'm at the top, but I started way down. I told them honeys at times that I'm really done waiting. I swear that I came for the crown. No. All right, that is Mason Hernandez. He's not a new timer, but this is dope. I will listen to that one again and again and again and again. Energy, everything was there. All right, we got loyalty with line them up. This one's going to be a little loud too, so y'all get ready. In five, four, three. Oh, hold on a second. I got to say what's up to some people. Shout out to On My Mama TV. He said, yo, play Bam, Bam Jilla, no cap or yeah, yeah. And then we've got the other side of N. Shout out to the other side of N. So make sure that you submit on my mama TV. That's crazy. <laughs> that's a wild, that's a wild username. All right, here we go. What's up, Vortex? Yeah, y'all know what the fuck it is, man. Most hated. King Kong. Cry boy. Are too sweet. You dip when this shit get too deep. And this is my victory leap. I'm slick with two feet like a bliss at QB. Take a look, you can see we so lit. The hustle and the grind don't quit. Catch a beat down from the E Town Connect. You can see now I hate when you breathe down my neck. The air like fresh for breeze. Crack. Get in front of us, we line them up. TikTok, check the clock, your time is up. If you really want war, come and try your luck. Cause I can say it no more, man. I'm fired up. And I combust like fire dust when I erupt. I adjust so I can just walk through flames with you. The prison music's been providing me with my vision Never blind cause these eyes are guided by rhythm So I can never struggle to find what I'm missing I remember who was there when I had no pot to piss in Couldn't take the heat and got the fuck about the kitchen Now the bull is out his cage and it's time to start constricting Clock just thickin', who the fuck are y'all kidding, man? I got mad love for hip-hop, we have got the top lock Now I'm taking aim at all you hot shots Rappers nowadays claim that they got game When they rock a fake chain or a lame-ass wristwatch I suggest that you just stop, or I'll be forced to seal up your lips like a Ziploc Cause what I'm saying is you're just talk I could run laps around your pussy-ass Oh my god. All right. Y'all are coming with the heat today. I love this one. Mastered a little loud, but it's nothing a little volume knob won't fix. Her fave is up in here. Go my tennis is wow. I like this. I love this. I love that man. Definitely gonna run that one back. All right, let's see if we can keep the momentum going. This is by another new timer. Well, another one. This is by a new timer. I don't think we've had. I don't think we've had a new timer. Actually, it was Smokey's first time on the morning show, but we heard him last night. Either way, here we go. YBC Dole. This is called McButtons and McNuggets. What? I want to make a too. Hey, what's up, baby? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's I want the sweet and sour sauce. That's the Uber Booga. I need the Uber Booga shit. <laughs> yeah, I want Oreo down. Uh oh. Is it going to be drill? What type of beat do y'all think this is gonna be? Is it gonna be drill? Is it gonna be trap? Is it gonna be old school? Who's that? I think it's gonna be drill. 
all eight soldiers getting touched. They dropping back to back. My bitch bad, she come through like O2 Stacy Dash. We done overcooked your man and wrapped him up in extra glad. Popping all that gangster shit to tell. Don't go all like jazz. I got you. Bitch, I get away. They left him by the tire. Grab purity by the legs. They drug him to the hellfire. I can really pop it. We drop shit. We get shit done. That nigga Lofi touched his time and he dropped his gun. Yeah, I like this one, uh, YBC, YBC. The intro was just super duper long. And then when the vocals came in, like they weren't popping as much as I would have liked them to. But you have a nice sound. I think it's very unique. Uh, it's cool to listen to. This one was moving kind of slow. So I don't know if the flow switches up at some point, but uh, those were a few things I'd probably touch up on and adjust a little bit. But yeah, it was cool. Uh, we've got Ani is in here. Overdose Music is in the building. Uh, Eddie says too much build up and not enough sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there, Eddie. Yeah, I like it. Uh, her fave says, hey, classy. I sent one in. Uh, I sent in one I'm literally working on right now. Can you get me in there? And then he says, pause. Hey, yo. <laughs> I got you. Uh, Jen says political ads. No, are we getting? Hold on, let me let me see if I can fix it. Vortex says, "How is the fam? And how was your day, classy? Wish you all love." Shout out to Vortex. So far, so good. Can't complain. Got a solid what four hours of sleep last night. Got to the gym. We did our first live stream over on the Band Lab Engineer YouTube channel this morning. I'm doing the live stream right now. So it's great, man. Cannot complain. Gonna get some lunch here in a few. Life is good. You know what I mean? Shout out to Future. Um, who else? Who else? So I need to get her fave up in here. These are supposed to be quick, y'all. I apologize. So I want to try and get as many of y'all in here as possible because we still have to cover this video. Um, Raccoon City. Let's go. Who else do I need to get? You gotta get Buddha. Yeah, yeah. Hey, they like damn how he go from love song to trap rap. This the shit I started with. You niggas better backtrack. He thought yeah. I was a singing nigga. Nah, I'm with all that. She thought I was a goofy nigga. Fuck her, I won't call hey. back. Stuffing racks in my jeans. Got them busting out the seams. Other niggas say the same, but that shit ain't what it seems. I see these niggas clicking up, looking for the winning team. I'ma probably sign with Boston. All I really want hey. is green. Me and my niggas yeah. like the Wu-Tang with the way we rapping cream. All my niggas look like Jedi's when they hop out with them beans. Baltimore like Raccoon City. All the zombies be the fiends. Mm. Yeah, this is nice, man. I can't wait. I can't wait for her fave to drop. All right, that's gonna be fire. Yeah, go ahead and finish that one up, man, so we can so we can get into it. I don't know why you're holding back. Killing me. Shout out to her fave in the building. This one's called Priceless by Lola D. Lola Z is making some progress. It's what we owe. No, I love the energy, man. It was, it was dope. So Lola, definitely getting better with the song structure and the timing. Still need some work, so keep polishing up, keep working at it. I'm glad you finally got your levels and your mixing getting in a good place too. So just keep keep working on it. You're going to get there. I like what I hear from you. You definitely have a very strong voice. So I just want you to get to a point to where we can just fully, 
fully appreciate and fully experience those vocals. And I know you're going to get there, which you've got to send me a project too. So I can kind of see what your vocals sound like and hear what your recording environment sounds like. That way we can give you a better idea of some of the things that you can improve in that way too. Uh, we got over 20,000 people in here. Make sure y'all like the video over on YouTube if you haven't yet. And I know Band Lab Gang is over there struggling. I tried, y'all. I tried. I apologize. D Light beat the odds. Yeah, he is innocent until proven guilty, Eddie. I agree. Diddy is on vacation right now. He's on stage. Hard times don't break me. Lord knows in the end if it come to that, I'll face it. Lost out on friends, had to get it off the pavement. I ain't gon' fake. Ever since I lost my daddy, feel like I ain't gon' make it. Too many times I tried to be a better man. Too many times I tried to give a helping hand. What make you different from me? We both can beat the odds. Everybody got dreams, but you know I'm working hard. Ah, no, man. Y'all got to do better with those cuts. Uh, yeah, y'all got to do better with those cuts. Dang. But you got a nice voice, D-Light. This one just, that one needs some work. We got to fix that. Here we go. Win, win Norific? Two-Face. Mm. Goat, did you send one in? She did not. She just stopped by to say what's up. Run which one back, her fave. Look at Goat Montana. She said, Classy, I stopped by to see you. Y'all give it up for Goat, man. Goat is amazing in every single way. I love me some Goat Montana. Yeah, this was cool. It just needs a good mix on it. Colorado Springs, Colorado in the building with the Winnerific. Appreciate you sending that one in. Uh, her fave said, Run, run the drop back. Oh, okay. You want to hear the drop on this one? man shout out to the new timer winnerific that one's good i'm not trying to get y'all to overthink it it's dope you dropped it i respect it man yeah that was nice uh let me see all right cool wave Lori's in the building shout out to you italo said uh goat she's just stalking me classy i still got a restraining order man stop the cap i don't believe it I don't believe you. Here we go. SoundCloud gang. This one's called Crush It Up. Wait, that's not the right one. This one's playing. We got Rest in Peace Bad to Take Off. Bitch. 
small waist, pretty face. Pretty. Having my way, have it, have it. She let me nut on the face. Uh, is this gonna switch up at some point? Cause I definitely don't want to get copyright strike. Let's see. Yeah, we're not doing that. I appreciate you sending it in though, uh, stick. I can't play that. I'm gonna get in trouble. see this in the john wick or jason statham movie this is crazy all right y'all check this one out that's from eddie fucking with you it got me acting a little different inside fuck around and lose my mind can't go won't stay baby tell me are you okay won't go can't fight baby tell me if you're all right can't lay no more line everything i give me one second i'll be You, I envision looking at you. I can feel myself slipping, speaking the truth. But you know that was a given. Getting confused, but you know that I ain't tripping. Any excuse, and we in this bitch sipping. Whatever you do, don't know what they can get to tripping. Usually do every time you get to mixing. And in the goose, got you on me, I'm with it, alright. Okay. I don't wanna give you head all night, yes, but you wanna be a fed all night. Yeah. I ain't gotta deal with this all my life. Tell me, are you okay? Won't go, can't fight. There he Baby, is. Tell me if you're all right. Man, y'all better lock in with Eddie. I'm gonna hit the subscribe button and like this one. I need to add, I need to save this playlist too. Oh, is this not the playlist? Hold on. Uh, he said, Eddie.bridge on all platforms. Listen to my latest album, Pretty Hurts. Yeah, here it is. Let me, um, uh, I need to save this playlist. How do I save it? How do I save it? Saved. Yeah, y'all go show him some love. I need to, let me see. I need to do this too. But I actually need to move this over here. Here we go. All right, we're getting through them. We're getting them in here. This one is Kiss Kissing Booth by NSB. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Andy, I got you. All right, so is this just somebody else's song? Why do y'all do this? There's no way. Is this by... It's dope, but I can't play that. Here we go. Y'all check this one out. It is... Feta. Feta? Is it Feta? Probably Feta. By Dars. Let's go. Snapper. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Snapper said, I'm not gonna say that out loud. Say the song. Oh, man. Yeah, 
I like this. That beat's a little weird. It's just a strange chord progression, but overall, this is cool. Yeah, I'm I'm rocking with this one. Um, Anzi said, yo, someone said a restraining order is their love language. Yeah, that's our guy. He's special, but we love him. Shout out to Snap and Slap. Let me get shot in your face, beat a nigga ass, I'm staying real cash. And pay 34 plate, quick foot, make 48. Real cash. Shoot a nigga block up, pop out, hit a nigga gang in the face. Real cash. 25 piece in the trap, roll it all down and ace. Let me get shot in your face, beat a nigga ass, I'm staying real cash. And pay 34 plate, quick foot, make 48. Real cash. Shoot a nigga block up, pop out, hit a nigga gang in the face. Real cash. 25 piece in the trap, roll it all down and ace. Real street nigga, look you know I know about it. Know about Bitches it. at a the hotel, they turn them shits to trap houses. Niggas all talk, look I really want more violence. violence. Pull up to they block, if they tripping then we start riding. Uh -huh. And every issue I ever had, you know I handled it. You know I handled Pulled it. up to they block, dismantled it. Uh -huh. Black tape wrapped around the pistol, and where to handle it. You know. Trying to walk down all the ice, but trying to watch where, where the, the cameras at. A lot of sticks in the caravan. In the clip jammed with bullets like a car full of Mexican. And what you know about your pot in the kitchen 20. So when Christmas time come, you looking now for his family. Oh my god, man. Had to add that one to the playlist. We've got a ton of fire on Band Lab. I don't want to hear anybody say nothing. Y'all can't say nothing about Band Lab. That was dope, man. These it could use a little bit of a cleaner mix, but overall. I will listen to that one. I'll listen to that for sure. All right, here we go. We're moving through and then we're going to get to our topic. We got to get up out of here. This one is by Muggs the Mortician. That's an interesting name. Blackbird. Let me exit this. Hey, pal, boy. Watch my phoenix rise. It's what the music gave us a collective place to shift the collective consciousness. It's what the music gave us. Now it became synonymous with every ounce of dominance. The same ones who labeled us as ominous. Now they can't admit they always wanted us. Enemies out there watching us. So watch me fly. It's the music that they gave me. I survived everything meant to break me. Joblessness and responsiveness. Now my demons face me. Woo. Yeah, this is a, this mix was rough. This is tough. I can hear the talent there though, but man, this is uh that one's hard to listen to. A lot of static coming from those vocals. But everybody doesn't have a great setup, but you gotta level up that setup, or at least if you can find a way to get rid of some of that static and that background noise, make sure you're in a good recording environment. Uh, you'll be good to go. Two Baddies by Anzi. It's a cover. <laughs> uh oh. Yes. Not the giggle. So. It's about to get crazy when they giggle. Uh, two baddies, two baddies, one Porsche. Two baddies, two baddies, one Porsche. Mulana, Nukuna, Monaje, in a kit that I'm most super down a manner. Uh. What of a kind, pack him in now, look in my eyes, yeah. Nigga getting geek in a goom, so good to move, yeah. Tongue in a bomb, look in a yo, back to doom, yeah. I gotta go, she gonna go, we have the next, yeah. We pull up and we come in a lot, bitch, and I is in mine. Time to live, come design, open the keys, open the mind. Too fast, you do. What you mean, the blues, clues. Everybody just had a hang up on the new rules. We don't mess up, got game, mess up, uh. Ebro, Navy, RG, and then let's get away right now. To party, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the moon is in your mind Cause you're so bad Gonna use me Gonna get up in the mind Get up to Next sign and now that we are so dirty Fill up the tank with gasoline on me Two baddies, two baddies, one Porsche Two baddies, two baddies, one Porsche More than I look at I'm on the G In the good day, the most simple Donna Manor And he said she said geek yeah hey snap it you gotta stop saying that and Anzi says check the lyrics please I beg you lyrics have 
Translation? Oh, okay, dope. Nice. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know this was a thing on Band Lab. This that, that's fire. Okay. Shout out to the lyrics over there. Mm, yeah, that's dope. That's awesome that you took the time to put those in there too. Um, yeah, you have a nice sound. This one, I mean, it's just not high quality, but overall I like the energy. I like your sound. It sounds like you're having fun. Timing was off there as as well in a couple of <laughs> a couple of spots, but I need to hear the original to really understand um what you were going for i think but yeah that was cool uh vortex is in here said ah, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to read that <laughs> Shout out to you. uh exodia says i'm a little quiet over here making my fish my fishing rigs while i listen Ooh, I gotta do that in florida do you ever go shrimping too exodia i love man i love shrimping not much of not much into fishing. I mean, I did it growing up, but shrimping was my favorite. Here we go. FBGM. We got that bad. Let's get bomb. Me and Rambo on a lamp, but he the go. Who made this beat? That's what I have to know. This is dope. Hey, I'm always sipping on that purple, never green, nigga. Never green, yeah. One shot to his body, made him lean, nigga. Lean, that is not your bitch. She be fucking on the team, nigga. Hit him up and on a shot, and it's green, nigga. Hey, hey, they can't fuck with me. Got your bitch on my side, keep a company. Got her doing tricks, doing splits, get her on her knees. Her and if knees. a second slide through, then you know I speed. Hey, bitch, yeah, hit him in his chest. Little nigga, dumb as fuck, shit, a war vest. She must fly through, and I knew that I did it best. Did it with best. all these sticks that I got, I can make a nest. Make a One bullet to the. Made a nigga sleep, hop out, get the chasing, yeah, we on feet yeah. 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 In the night time, cause that's when I creep Fall niggas down, we kill they whole team Ay, 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 nigga Ay, 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 big gun made a square nigga dance She said she love me and start filling up my pants Can't fuck with a bitch, she ain't got no bands Bitch is broke, no, I can't be on wow. bands Big gun made a square nigga dance she said she love me and start filling up my pants. My can't pants. fuck with a bitch. She ain't got no bands. No bands. Bitch is broke. No, I can't be your man. No, if you broke, you can't claim me. Sauce them up. Get to cooking like McGrady. Like McGrady. Or do them like I'm Lou. All these niggas is some babies. Some babies. And if you got a problem, nigga, you can fade me. Fine, bitch. Yeah, it's the a same call. Like so, yeah. Lame niggas. Pump fake and let them have it. I'm dunking on niggas. Bitch, do it just like Shaggy. Like fake bitch. Yeah, they all made with plastic. I can't fuck with them. Yeah, I'm done with them. Slime with the ARP. You hear? I thought that I'm. Fuck. I came in first, you came in second, you the runner up. We ain't stopping if this family gets your brother Don't touched. Get your brother touched. God dang. Yo, who's the producer that made this? This is insane. I mean. You did a good job on the track, but the producer who made this. We got to show them some love. That was amazing. Uh, Beat Breaker. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hold on. I got to give it up for Beat, beat Breaker up Catch here. Out. He is the official sponsor of today's show. Lord have mercy. Beat Breaker, where's your link, though? I should have already had it because I got through almost everybody. Um, where's your link? Beat Breaker? We're going to play this one by Beat Breaker, and then uh, we're going to cover our topic talking about TuneCore, and then I will get to everybody else who's left after that. Um, yeah, that was super fire, but the producer, yeah, the producer went crazy. Uh, Eddie said, this is fire, but you say Ninja like 30 times. Try replacing some of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm not as into the uh the lyrics in that song, but I think he did a great job with the delivery, with the energy, the timing, the flow was on point, the switch up in this section. Hey, 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 nigga. Hey, hey, hey. Big gun made a square nigga dance. She said she loved Yeah, but I agree. Uh a lot of ninjas on that track.
A lot of ninjas on that one. Here we go. Beat Breaker sent us a song called Legendary. All right, and then we'll get into what's going on with Toon Core. Here we go. And shout out to Beat Breaker. He's the sponsor of today's show as well. Let me go ahead and put him in the in the banner. Oof. I like this already. Beat Breaker is always coming through. I need you just like how you need me. Well, baby, loving you has been legendary. You stay on my mind when I wake up every time. I be glancing at my phone, seeing if you hit my line. And then all the countless nights when I would pray to God, seeing if you would ever send me a sign. And I never thought that. See the time, time where you had truly become mine. Loving you, it surely has been divine. Sit down, baby girl, let me pour you some more wine. Let me pour you some more wine. Cause, baby girl, you're mine. Will you be my Valentine until the end of time? I mean, every lyric, yeah, I mean, every line. Look me in my eyes and tell me if I'm lying. We're meant for each other, and I put that on my life. Never thought I'd find someone like you in my life. You save me every day, that's what I feel inside. When you look at me, it surely melts me deep inside. You're one of a kind. Can't wait for the day I make you my bride. I'm just hoping that you're in for the ride. With you by my side, you feel me full of pride. Take you like some medicine, I swear you are prescribed. Please don't change on me, cause I need you in my life. If we start the faith and best believe pressure is applied cause i need you just like how you need me while well, baby loving you has been legendary mm. there it is man shout out to beat breaker up in here the sponsor of today's show he's always stopping by and showing major love and supporting a lot of artists in here too y'all go follow chef manuel as well if you want to find him on band lab it's at chef underscore m-a-n-u-e-l two the number two k zero one dope man look at bizo beats over here oh my god he said he just made 2300 from distro kid go on get it then he said y'all better be distributing your music try and tell him i try and tell him i try to tell him that and if you guys don't have a distributor uh, my favorite distributor that i use on a daily basis is distro kid as well so if y'all haven't signed up for DistroKid, you can get a discount if you sign up using the link in the description of this video. Um, it's it's just twenty dollars a year to sign up and release unlimited music. There's really no excuse at this point, and DistroKid makes it so easy. You can distribute to so many stores, and they also have other options as well, including YouTube Content ID. They help you mix and master your songs. So, man, go tap in with DistroKid. They are absolutely amazing. And sign up using the link in the description because I have an affiliate with them and you get a discount off of your first year as well. All right. Uh, Vizo Beat says, and trust you going to make that money back. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, especially if you're putting out great music. I love it. Uh, Beat Breaker said, we getting there. Yeah, that was very well mixed, man. It was a good sound. I like what you did with that one. And I'm definitely tapped in with Chef Manuel as well. Beat Breaker, you got to send some more some more of your stuff in because it's cool it's been cool to see you evolve and continue to work on the mix and you collaborate with so many different artists too so shout out to beat breaker all right so we are going to get into our topic today this one's going to be pretty quick i want to go through the whole video but this video is like 20 minutes so i know it's probably going to take a while but a lot of y'all may have seen the video that we covered on this i think it was last week where this uh 
this YouTuber and also an attorney, the top music attorney, she is actually going at TuneCore because, I mean, she's just been having a lot of issues with them. They've, a client that she has, has had trouble with TuneCore taking their music down, not getting paid, all different kinds of stuff. So we're going to cover what's going on with that here in a second. But before I do, let me make sure I got everybody in here. Beat Breaker says, Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. Yeah, shout out to you, man. Just got to keep pushing. Uh, snap a slap, snap a slap. It says I have one song out. Seven hundred and sixty-seven. I dropped. All right, the song is called Seven Sixty Seven. Hmm. Not sure about that. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So. Let's switch over to this one. So as I mentioned before, this is the top music attorney. Y'all can go check out and follow her on YouTube. She's got a lot of great videos where she's talking about the legal side of music and some of the things that are going on in music news. We recently covered her situation that she had with between her and her client and TuneCore, where TuneCore wasn't paying her client and she exposed a lot of the things they had and TuneCore had in their terms and conditions that really go against some of the norm when it comes to distributors and in some cases may be illegal. So she's going to give, she gave a little bit of a recap, just kind of showing what was happening with her client, the email and messages that she was sending to TuneCore on behalf of her client. And now she's at a place to where TuneCore finally responded to uh, the legal documents and information that she sent to them. So listen to this video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments in the chat too. So anyway, after they had these big conversations, we got a response and there I'm going to show you that response. And as always, as you guys saw from the prior uh, things that I've shown you, I have redacted sensitive information, but just so you can just see everything super legit. So the email came from someone at TuneCore and the legal department and then was sent to me. Hello, Crystal. Before addressing the contents of your letter and the draft of your complaint you sent, I want to put in writing the statistical data we have gathered with respect to your client's numerous TuneCore accounts. So there was more than one account and part of our whole kind of discussion throughout this had hmm. been with respect to this data that you're talking about, you still haven't shown us anything. So what was important here is they go, okay, we're putting it in writing. I'm like, ah, finally, they're going to show us like screenshots, give us some kind of information. Great. In yeah. And TuneCore is not the only distributor that artists are having issues with in the case of their music getting taken down and them not being shown any, shown any proof at all of why their music was taken down. If it's fraudulent streams, how many fraudulent streams there were, how they were able to track that. And we're just at a really weird place in music distribution. Anyway, she continues. The accounts, here's the additional information that we recently were provided by our DSP partners, so the digital service provider partners. First, as I mentioned to you and your associate during our phone calls, there's significant evidence of streaming manipulation by your client in connection with his accounts. Digital wow. streaming generally align with the market share of the particular DSPs in which the territory that it's in and the recordings are available. So he goes on to say, Basically, for example, so if a DSP like Spotify has a 30% market share of the digital distribution market, you can expect approximately 30% of the streams to come from that DSP. So similarly, with respect to territories, streams align, the percentage of the share should just be, you know, basically equal amount to the worldwide market. I don't have a problem with any of this. Okie dokie. While they're- Yeah, I, the weird thing about that to me though, is if you're promoting Say you're promoting on Deezer. Let's just use Deezer, for example, because they're just absolutely terrible. Say you're using Deezer and you spend money and energy promoting and pushing towards Deezer. It sounds like that TuneCore is saying if they see some irregularity there and they're not going to they're not going to do any research into why there's any irregularity. They're just going to say, oh, well, it looks like there's some fake streams going on. So we're going to either flag this or take the music down, which is just doesn't make any sense if you're going to base it on market share because there's so many opportunities for you to get more streams on a certain platform depending on how you're promoting your music me be variations for accounts with very few streams as artists generate more and more streams their streaming patterns get closer and closer 
to these market shares. Mm. Using Amazon Music as an example, note that during the third quarter of 2023, Amazon Music had a market share of approximately 11.1%. Okay, we're, gonna, we're, we're making a little note about that. While other sources may vary slightly, if streams were legitimate, one would expect stream patterns to be closely matched to the market shares as their, you know, as that pertains to your client. So he went on that to write out information, which I redacted again, because, you know, this client's private information, but he basically was challenging. He said, we have more than normal. And that's what it was. And he's like, for this, you know, for this one, it's this percentage. If it's this one, it's this percentage. Okay. That's so, that's what? such a dumb argument. Just because you're getting more streams on a certain song, they're saying that it has to be fraudulent. Ah, oh, I don't get it, man. My problem once again with this is that you were just saying something. We have provided actual evidence, real screenshots from real accounts showing real stuff. And for a distributor just to say, you know, we're not going to provide you anything and we're just going to say something in an email. I have a problem with that. That's not how it works. That definitely is not how it works when we actually get into litigation. I am and a litigation not providing attorney. Any proof and when you either. get into real litigation, the parties, both sides, have to show their stuff. It is required. And if you don't, to prove your case, to prove your position, you can get sanctioned by the court. So, you know, in pre-litigation efforts, which is what this is, they don't have to disclose anything, right? We can't force them. It's troubling to me that they're going to make the threats that we're about to <laughs> yeah. go through and read, and they still haven't provided anything other than words in an email. In addition to the data, which was communicated to you and or your associate during our calls, and in further response to your request, our team reached out to Amazon. All right, so they've reached out to one DSP. All right, wow. Who provided us with the following analysis. Who's listening to music on Amazon? From your client's account. Okay, so they copied and pasted allegedly copy and pasted what this is. We can take this as true. I don't know that it's true. Who is this from? Where is the email? Where is the date to legitimize this? But let's go ahead and read it. What do they say? Quote. Yes. Well, I don't think they would have to legitimize this unless it went to court. Just, I mean, just saying, because this really is at this point is he said, he said, she said uh, on both sides, on two court side and on the top music attorney and their client side. So well, where is the Even date they have to legitimize this? But let's go ahead and read it. What do they say? Quote, yes, confirmed streams from these tracks were deemed stream fraud. Looking back a year. Okay, so apparently this was recent, right? Looking back a year. Why are you looking back a year? The original takedowns were in 2020 and 2021. Looking back a year. It's we taken found forever. Most of the stream fraud in February wow. and March of 2023. What? And since then, there are insignificant total streams for these tracks. Some high level insights observed are high volume streaming across a very small customer base. Most of the tracks were listened to by one customer. For example, this track had these many streams in February, on February 15th. What? By, you know, and it just the average of these streams and the customers per day. It just isn't humanly possible if the customer listened to the full song. Thus, as a result. Interesting. So I wonder if this is this saying that. It looks like this is saying that one person was streaming the song and driving up the streams. If I read that right, let me go back to see. It says, yes, can confirm. This is, this is TuneCore contacting Amazon. It says, yes, can confirm streams from these tracks are deemed, were deemed stream fraud. Looking back a year, we found most of the stream fraud in February and March, 2023. Since then, there are insignificant total streams from these tracks. Some high level insights observed a high volume streaming across very small customer base. Mm, okay. Most of the tracks were listened to by one customer. Oh, but again, all right, we, there's really no proof of that, right? We haven't seen the proof, but that's still interesting that they're saying that mainly one person streamed all the music. They also don't, I don't know. Again, I haven't seen this whole video, so I don't know if they go to quantify it later on, but, um, I think it, they show it here. But what if it's just 50 times, like we don't know the number. Now this looks like it might be a, a three digit number or possibly a four digit number. But if one person streamed it a hundred times over how much time, how much amount of time though, is the question I would have. I don't know. This all seems kind of, kind of weird.
Let's rewind it. Customers quick. per day, it just isn't humanly possible if the customer listened to the full song. Thus, as a result of the aforementioned so the data <laughs> and the information provided by no less than two major DSPs, there's no rational explanation for the streaming patterns of your clients' accounts other than streaming manipulation. So it gets better. All right, we're not done with this. But mm. I just do, you know, I want to highlight again the lack of providing actual evidence, the lack of even providing a screenshot of this alleged email that they got from Amazon, but even like what's in it. Substantively, I go, okie dokie. So the takedowns happen. Well, and they don't the, have the, to provide the, the royalties evidence. that we're seeking from 2020 and 2021. And then you're like, it looks like he hasn't gotten any streams in the last year. Well, no kidding. He got blocked out of his accounts. And as far as I understand, the music is no longer available as of many years. So you're right. Wow. And, and to the extent there's any earnings, I'm like, okay. So it's tough for me as the attorney on this side, for all these reasons, for this to be the response. And we're not done. So let's go back now. Yeah. So this is, this is interesting because one thing for you guys to know, a lot of these platforms, most platforms can take your stuff down without any notice. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. They could take it down without any reason, without any notice. I mean, there's been, you've seen so many stories of even YouTube videos getting taken down or flagged for whatever reason. You can try and dispute it. But even the thing that's interesting with YouTube, when you try and dispute something, if you, if you dispute a YouTube video claim or takedown in a certain way, and it doesn't, and your dispute doesn't get approved, it gets rejected then you have a possibility of your entire channel being taken down. So these, these platforms are just weird when it comes to taking down and I, when it comes to taking down content. And I think the main reason is just because there's just so much content out there. It's hard for them to manage all the content that's on their own platforms. Here we go. On the side for all these reasons for this to be the response, and we're not done. So let's go back now to address the content of your letter and your assertion of the exhaustive evidence affirming your client's status as an, a legitimate artist. Because if you guys remember, I went through the letter that I wrote and I said, we provided exhaustive evidence affirming our client's status as a legitimate artist, right? And so all the stuff that I showed you guys that we had provided to them, right? Which somehow was supposed to make a difference and get you know the royalties released. The content of your client's music and the effort involved in its creation or lack thereof. The content of your client's music and Dang. the effort involved. Shots the fired. Lack He's even like, they're even being insulting in their email <laughs> it's one factor in our determination that the client was engaged in streaming fraud based on the overwhelming factual evidence available to us the overwhelming factual evidence available to us why wow, it would be so cool if it could be available to everyone i'm just saying this further they're not going to show you that streaming manipulation again to the whole like you know just taking them at face value and the proof he's a legitimate artist okie dokie here's the here's the proof well that doesn't matter because he committed streaming fraud and then what i've said numerous times and i go like to villainize artists who engage or have ever engaged apparently years ago, right? Have ever engaged in streaming fraud because they were trying to legitimize what they were doing, which is how I take it. I'm like, an artist just wants to release something and be like, hey, like 5,000 people listen to it. I'm not a loser and I'm not a failure. I don't have a, I don't, you know, I'm, it's not good. I'm always going to tell you guys, don't do it. You're destroying your algorithm. Like it only hurts you, but I understand why people do this. That's and true. a part of this fight is not like for one way or another on streaming manipulation, but the, the fight here isn't just in regards to a middleman who's going to take royalties because of terms of service, which my understanding of New York law, my interpretation, of all you know everything that i've read is that they can't and i think that if they were challenged on this in an actual lawsuit they would lose on this all right but anyway we're not done in the whole yeah and the interesting thing about this too is that they're you're gonna have to fight so hard for these dsps these distributors to show you how they figure out all this information how they figure out what a what a fake stream is because if they give you more insight into that then there's going to be more people who are going to use that information to bypass and fly under the radar of the system. So I think this is why there's so much pushback on across all distributors that they don't want to give that much information out and even Spotify with their uh, with the whole threshold situation. Well, I guess it was more distributors with that threshold, um, but Spotify with the threshold situation, I mean, they're not going to show and not going to tell you how you can figure out when you hit that threshold, how you're hitting that threshold, where all that information is coming from, because that's going to give you a peek into how you could possibly maybe uh, rig the system. This this is going to be a tough fight. Well, let's keep listening. Content of your client's music and the effort involved or lack thereof 
they just really want to say just like what a, what, a, what a terrible human our client is and what a terrible artist he is. It's just like shocking to me. Ever dream of getting your music into TV, film, and games? Well, it's easier than you think. And oh, here's this, got, put this has some music you. in it. Hold on a second. I got to skip through this because I don't want to get, I don't want to get it flat. Music live. Let's see. Go to time. You know, this is evidence of there extreme manipulation. I would also like to point out that while gathering and compiling the above information, I was alerted to the fact that you have been using this matter to generate content for your YouTube channel and social media. Well, yeah, you were alerted because I said so in my letter. It appears that rather than working with us to understand the facts of this matter and whether, in fact, there were fraudulent business practices involved, you instead chose this is crazy. to use our conversations to paint a deliberately misleading and highly distorted version of the facts to your internet audience. It oh, man. <laughs> That's tough. They're getting mad because she made a YouTube video. That's wild, man. And she's actually made the top music attorney has made several videos on this. I think maybe four or five total. I've only watched the one that we covered in uh, in this one. But y'all make sure you go check her out, too, because uh, this video will be linked in this video and I can drop it in the comments as well. It was highly alarming to find an attorney who placed her own online presence over the best interests of her clients. Particularly when the facts dictate that your client is stealing money from legitimate musicians with legal streaming activity. I place the interests of my client first and foremost above anything else. And the yeah, fact you that have this is to as a lawyer. And the fact that this is not only happening to my client, but apparently to a lot of artists, a lot of music producers out there. That's why I brought this matter to my internet audience. Particularly when the facts dictate that your client is stealing money from legitimate musicians with legal streaming activity. Going back to my analogy in that first video, which is how the dirty cops, they're enforcing the law, and then they go and just pocket the money themselves. Maybe not an exact one-to-one, -one, but just in the same kind of, if my understanding and interpretation of the law is that what you are doing are penalizing and enforcing imper in impermissible penalties to artists because you're like, hey, you broke the rules, on Spotify and no one's proved anything, right? That was the biggest piece here. I go just because if there's a claim, like their terms of service just say, if there's a claim of streaming fraud or, you know, there's other stuff too. If there's a claim for copyright infringement or trademark infringement or anything. If even a claim happens, we can take your royalties and we can even give it to third parties. Now my- Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. We covered this in the last video, but it's kind of like if you were accused of certain things and it was made public, even if the claims weren't true, you could possibly, your job could be in jeopardy. Um, your relationships could be in jeopardy. It's, it's interesting how similar this kind of is to our current, I wouldn't say legal system, but social system, because there's a lot even going on in the news today to where someone's being portrayed a certain way in the public eye, and there might not be any evidence. There might not be any uh, arrests. There might not be any things actually going against them, but the... Court of public opinion, it's tough to beat. Whoa, that doesn't sound right. So then when you say that my client is stealing money from legitimate musicians, what are you talking about? Dang. His royalties that he had earned of which you took, that he's a thief? I'm just curious. In this regard, and with respect to the draft complaints, right? Because we added a complaint with our letter and your threats of filing a complaint against TuneCore. Please be advised that we take this matter very seriously and will defend any lawsuit vigorously to the full extent of the law including, if needed, filing counterclaims uh -oh. against our They're clients about to sue. for fraud, as well as seeking attorney's fees and costs. As you are likely aware, counterclaims can result in legal sanctions and penalties for the party filing a frivolous lawsuit. You know, they're right. You can get into trouble for filing a frivolous lawsuit where you do not have- It's gonna be expensive to fight that you haven't too. done proper research and just things like that. That is not what this is. Our client absolutely has a legitimate claim. And in fact, one of the biggest problems that I've taken is that I go, if we're going to point to New York law, which is what controls the terms of service, right, for TuneCore, and we go, well, New York law says that if you just take tens of thousands of dollars of someone else's royalties and they don't actually account for damages that you've suffered, that's an impermissible penalty and you can't do it. So I had said, mm -hmm. there's that. TuneCore, what do you think? And the response was literally, this is an ethical issue. Ethically, we will not release the funds. And in fact, they even offered, I'm not making this up, and they even offered and they said, we'll give the funds to a charity of your client's choosing, but we will not Jeez. give them to him because what? he's a fraudster. So my issue... Wow, y'all, this is this is insane. And the thing you have to think about with this whole situation, and hopefully this doesn't become a trend, it's starting to look like it may become a trend, but it's going to cost an operation like TuneCore little to nothing to fight this or to counter sue or to go after the top music attorney or her client. 
Um, then you get into hot water, you rack up legal bills and waste your time. It's a, uh, it's a tough situation to be in because basically TuneCore has the leverage at this point. I mean, unless you're a multimillionaire and you just have a lot of disposable income, if they go on to continue this class action lawsuit, file the lawsuit and they start to fight it, it's going to cost a lot of time and a lot of money. And TuneCore is just going to be sitting back like, all right, bring it on. Let's go. We're still not going to pay you based on principle. So this is what happens in a lot of cases where you see people end up settling or they'll fold. But it sounds like TuneCore is not going to they're not going to fold on this situation. And it's going to go, it's going to have to go pretty far and become a lot bigger case before they let just one person and their attorney kind of push them off their square. So. I don't want to play the whole video. I really want you guys to go over there and watch the full video from the top music attorney, but make sure you go check it out. The link to this is going to be in the description. She did a great job of breaking this down. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with this whole case. Cause whew, this is going to, this is going to be a long battle. And y'all even saw what she mentioned in the video earlier that they've been fighting this since 2020. They've been fighting this whole thing since 2020. So I don't know. It's, it makes sense why a lot of people are really looking towards uh, and shout out to Curtis King. He's really, in my opinion, uh, leading the charge on the more direct to consumer uh, model. Also, of course, along with the Russell, Nick D, a lot of bigger artists, um, they're really leading the charge on this whole direct to consumer situation because then you can completely avoid the middleman like uh, DSP, like a uh, distributor like a horrible distributor like TuneCore and it makes sense um, I'm on the I'm in the camp to where I think you should do both I think there are benefits to you know distributing your music onto streaming platforms and having direct to consumer but I can understand why someone like a uh, Curtis King would be like man I'm I'm not even dealing with it because then you have situations like this to where they can hold your money for three months or they can shut down your account. I mean, geez, even with PayPal, one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest money, money processing platforms out there. I mean, there's, they can hold your account and remove access to your money or remove your access to your money at any point, which is kind of crazy to think about. Uh, either way, all right, that was the video. Appreciate y'all tapping in with that one. Thank you to everybody who listened. I might post this video actually later today. I know we had a few more of y'all that wanted to get your songs played. So let me double check and make sure that I didn't miss anybody. And then we're going to get up out of here. Let me see. For some reason, this isn't loading. It's not good. Here we go. Why isn't this loading? I just want to see platform smokey says i'm back all right shout out to smokey back in here uh what are y'all saying let me see what y'all are saying in the chat uh exodia says <laughs> i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna put that on the screen i just saw what he said oh man wave Lori says bring cds back yeah um snap a slap said they're trying to bleed them out i can see that he also says the Russell is a beast. Wave Lori said hard to trust any company in 2024. And that's the thing. Even the even with this Wave Lori, right? He says bring CDs back. You're still gonna need to use the internet and some type of social platform to sell and promote your CD. So I mean, unless you're out here and you already have a big fan base, you can say, hey guys, fill out this form, drop your email. I'm going to email you anytime I'm dropping music. I'm going to create my own platform over here and you guys can come join this platform. You're still going to be relying on some type of middleman or entity to get your stuff out there. Like it's just, uh, yeah, it's a, it's an interesting place we're in right now. Exodia says that's why live show is really where the money is at. Yep. That's why people, almost everybody's jumping on a podcast, starting a podcast. Um, yeah, building a brand, and I say this all the time, personal branding is really the key to uh, not only building a fan base, building community, 
but to building a strong business today. And I think Alex Hormozzi is one of the uh, one of the people that I follow when it comes to that type of things because he has such a great mindset when it comes to giving the most value and the most you can to your community and them wanting just wanting to give back to you in that way. So that's that's kind of what we're that's kind of the same thing that we're doing here. Um, let me see, let me see. Bizo Beat says, nah, because Distro Kid do be holding my money for two to three months trying to say the platforms are on delay. Yeah. And it's probably gonna be it might even be a, a bigger delay now because Spotify's got that threshold set up. So we'll see what happens. Snappa says people pulling 1,000 a week on TikTok for doing nothing. Yeah, hopefully TikTok is here to stay. I don't think it's going anywhere, but we'll see what's going on with TikTok in the US. Bizo B says, I make everyone at school listen to my music. That's how I get my paper. Let's go. Yeah, you mean we actually got to get outside and network? Oh, man. That's tough, Bizo Beast. They're not going to like that one. Wave Lord said, yeah, you got to be a content creator too. Yep. If you put content behind your music, it's so powerful. You can reach so many more people if you do that. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Bridge says, ban TikTok. Eh, why? Why do you want to ban TikTok? Okay, I think we actually got everybody played today. So we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. I'm going to play a few of y'all on the outro we will be back tomorrow for another episode of the music morning show and tomorrow's the call-in show so you guys can call in if you want to cam up you can if you don't want to be on camera you just want to uh call in and say uh just call in with your voice and not without or not with the camera then you'll be able to do that as well so i'm making that option available for you guys so definitely y'all tap in tomorrow be ready to call in and say what's up so that way people can put a voice or a face with the name and the music all right so we're gonna get up out of here we've got the song of the night live tomorrow night 8 p.m eastern standard time hope you guys have a great rest of your day thank y'all for tuning in and supporting the community man big shout out to the sponsor of today's show where's he at i gotta put him up on the screen beat break up in here drop the 55 bomb all right <laughs> i see y'all all right Y'all keep growing, keep pushing, keep it classy. We gone. Peace. You guys are amazing. I love it.